All right, so today we're going to be breaking down your Adano Ventura's pitch mechanics. He's 5'11", 195 pounds, and he's topped out at 103 miles per hour when he was a pitcher. He's probably one of the most electric arms to ever pitch in the major leagues. Let's get into it. So let's get to peak leg lift. So he's pretty stacked over his backside. Not a lot of drift, sort of just up, and he goes into a drop and drive after this. So he starts breaking his hands, going down with his leg. Ventura was a big internal rotator. So as you see there with his front leg, it's sort of his foot's kicked out in front of his knee. Same with the back leg. You're going to see his knees inside that foot. Something that he does crazy is this foot. It's called ankle eversion. He does it crazier than anyone I've ever seen where he just like isn't stacked into his big toe or anything. And he just turns it over like a pancake. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've noticed a lot of like Dominican players tend to do this for some reason. I'm not sure if it's something they're taught or just hip anatomy, but it's pretty interesting to see. And then, so he gets here in separation. Pretty elite right there. I mean, his back hip, it seems like he has a bit of a mobility restriction, but it works for him because, I mean, I'm not going to say it's bad if he's throwing 103 and was healthy every year. Um, but that's a, all his hip range of motion could be, and he's stacked, and he's closed. Hips are all the way through for him, and his upper body is as far back as it could be. As you see here, he's got darn close to a 90-degree angle with that back arm, and then from there, he just unleashes with the, probably one of the most electric arms of all time. I mean... It, from here to here, most pitchers, like myself, it takes four frames to get from there to there. He's literally, from peak separation to layback, two and a half frames total, which is absurd. And then he's gone. Just lightning quick arm. And then he's got that signature finish. That's something that I took inspiration from from him to sort of like simulate getting my arm to move fast like him. And then let's watch this back in full speed. Video courtesy of Tread. Thank you, Tread. Rest in peace to your Donna Ventura, one of the best to do it.